The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around. We are going with my to Daily Bread full time to donate some baby uh, formulas because we just want to use this time to give back to the community and to people who are in need. So the idea is, my is on baby formula. I'm sure there are many other babies who could use this formula. We care about other babies in the world. So that's the plan to give away baby formula. I can sing to school around somewhere. Yeah, I used to teach down here. Right. Okay, just around in the corner. Okay, anything else around there? So we're going to make our donation of baby formula at the Daily Bread Food Bank in Mimico. And um, we're here, we're going to pull around to the side entrance there and they're going to let us drop off the donation. The lady who works here, she said that they always really, really need baby formula and they never seem to get enough of it. So if you live in Toronto and you're watching and you would like to donate to the Daily Bread Food Bank and you don't know what to donate, baby formula is one of like the top items that they need all the time. They can always use more donations of any kind, but baby formula always seems to be in very short order. So something that you know they will use, and that would be a really great thing to donate if you're able. Okay, bye. Hi friends, welcome to my video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to me. After an unexpected two week hiatus, I just couldn't keep up with the video production. I blame the baby. We just got a bit busy. Anyway, today I am sharing with you a mushroom topping for your toast, for your breakfast toast, or for your any time of day toast. I know that avocado on toast still remains very popular and it is delicious, but it's not a revelation to me. I've actually grown up eating avocado on toast because my parents are from the Caribbean. But a while ago, I saw the term shit on toast trending on Instagram and when I checked that hashtag I just saw people posting pictures of mushrooms on toast. I think it's really short for the term shiitake and I think at one point people were making a similar recipe using shiitake mushrooms but today I'm going to be showing you how to make this with canned mushrooms which I prefer over fresh mushrooms and I'll tell you why a little later on. I also have some onion, garlic, and a green chili pepper. You can use any onion that you have on hand. I had red onions. Next, I have my non-stick skillet. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil to that, and I'm just adding everything to the pan. I'm not even really waiting for the oil to heat up. I'm just adding it. You know, you'll hear it sizzle when the oil is hot enough. This is a recipe that we're not really gonna make too much fuss over. We're just gonna throw things in and let them cook. I am seasoning with a little bit of black pepper. I'm not adding any salt at all because here in Canada, I don't know what it is, but canned mushrooms are a little bit salty. So I'm not gonna be adding any salt to this recipe, but I'm adding some black pepper. You can also add any other herb or spice combination that you like. Next go the canned mushrooms. And the reason why I like canned mushrooms in this recipe is because they have a very nice chewy texture. They also will not spring any water the way that fresh mushrooms will. The reason I like that is you can combine everything, set it over a medium low heat, and then forget about it. I mean, not for too long, you can't forget about it, but long enough for you to go and get your bread. I have a lovely sourdough here. I'm going straight for the middle, grabbing the large slices from the middle of the loaf, and these are gonna to be toasted and crisped up in my panini press. Now when I come back to the mushrooms, you can see they haven't sprung any water. There's no excess water at all in the pan. There is a lovely browning, a little bit of color on the mushrooms, and they're done. I am simply transferring these to another dish and setting them aside while I work on my bread. Just adding my bread to my panini press. I don't have a toaster, I have a panini press only. It takes three slices. That's fine. Sometimes we have to toast things multiple times. 
it's okay. I'm also adding a little bit of plant-based basil. You can add butter, you can add nothing if you prefer, but I do like the flavor of this. I think it's pretty convincing. It tastes as good as the regular basil to me anyway. And I am going to add something else as well. It's completely optional or you could substitute something completely different. I have a little bit of laughing cow cheese. This is a dairy cheese, but you could use a vegan cheese or a vegan spread. You could use hummus if you want. You could, you could even use smashed avocado. I have done that. I have put avocado on toast and then put my mushroom topping on top of the avocado and it's delicious. But I'm adding a little bit of this laughing cow cheese and not really to cheese it up, more so that my mushrooms have something to cling to, to kind of hold on to so they don't just slip off the bread or fall off the bread. And I'm loading up my toast here with the mushroom topping. It's pretty colorful and very beautiful. Those red onions have cooked into a bright purple. But there is one more thing that I'm going to do to elevate this just a little bit and to also add a touch of flavor, and that is to add some freshly chopped parsley. You can add any herb of your choice. Parsley is what I had on hand. I think it works really well with mushroom, but there isn't any particular herb that I can think of that wouldn't work. This adds another layer of color. I think it makes the dish even more attractive than before, but that's it. It's a really simple mushroom topping that comes together very quickly, especially if you have your prep done and if you have a beautiful bread that you like. It just is such a wonderful breakfast dish, in my opinion, but you could have it, I guess, at any time of day. All right, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I have one more video left before the end of the year, so I do hope that you come back and watch that video as well. And I hope that you're staying safe, you're staying healthy, and that's about it. All right, I guess I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.